So hey there, welcome to my curls. My name is Renee, and y'all, I am doing some decorating tomorrow. More specifically, I am decorating my pool area. I'm out getting my flowers and my potting soil and my pine needles. I'm gonna work in the yard tomorrow. I'm gonna decorate our pool area, our patio area, and I thought you all would enjoy doing that with me. I am at our local plant nursery. I am planting my favorite flowers in all of my huge pots, my planters, around the pool area, um, and we're going to do some yard work. Oh, can you see all the people out here heading out with the flowers? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch y'all after I get out of here because I'll tell you what, there is a certain plant, a certain flower that I absolutely love for my planters. And this nursery where I come to every year only gets one shipment a year. And if I don't get in there and get my flowers, they're gone. Like I cannot get them. So I'm going to go in and get my flowers and I'll catch up with you in just a second. I went to my favorite plant nursery this morning, picked out the flowers. Randy's gone to get them. He should be here any minute with all the flowers, the potting soil, and then we're going to put pine needles in our flower beds. We do this every year and I have to do all the work. Randy and Brecken have allergies and they cannot help me. So it's on me, but it's fine. But I wanted to show you all what my pool area looks like now. And if you watched my home tour, you saw when we opened the pool and we got on all the patio furniture and the pillows and everything is cute, but it is never truly finished until all of my flowers are planted. So that will be tomorrow. So let me show you around now and show you what our pool area looks like. Um, as it is and the dogs are running around like crazy. It is dinner time for them and they know it And so they're trying to let me know that it's time to go in the house. They want their dinner But let you let me show you around our pool area So we have three lounge chairs and this big pot and you all are gonna see the flowers when Randy gets here with them in a minute I love Diplodenias. They are my favorite flower for the pool area our entire pool area is in full sunshine all day long and it gets so so hot back here with just the sun beating down trying to figure out what flower i could plant in the pots back here that would tolerate the heat in the sun and it's a diplodenia and they come in pink white and red and i always plant the red ones but diplodenias are going to go here you see that big pot right there that one's going to get diplodenias and then pollux He hears Maxie in the house barking, but Pollux's doggy door is not here, so he can't get in the house unless I let him in. So he's trying to figure out what the heck is going on. <laughs> oh, here he comes again. <laughs> so that pot right there is gonna get diplodenias and kind of in the sun. But when you come up the steps to go to our house, I got these new pots because the ones that used to sit up here, the bottoms of them kind of rotted rotted away and so I threw them out this year. I got new pots, got them at Sam's and those are going to have dip diplodenias as well. Pollux is going to wear a hole in our concrete I think. Like no joke. I think he's going to. Okay and then I have this little area and this is an area that I do not love but what happened is when we used to have three miniature schnauzers, they would come back here and they would jump up in this little raised area. And we have this funky bay window in our kitchen area that kind of jetted out. And so we built this retainer wall. See my little schnauzer? We built this retainer wall and we tried planting plants in there. They wouldn't grow. We tried flowers in there. They wouldn't grow. And then the dogs would jump up there and pee which I don't like. So in order to keep the dogs out, we filled it with rock a couple of years ago. Well, then the two little culprits that were always the ones that would get in this area, they actually passed away in 2018. So Maxie doesn't get up in there. So we have all of this area full of rock, but it is what it is. So we ended up getting these little hangers and you'll see tomorrow what this is going to look like and these 
baskets and I filled them with a it's like a mm, I don't know what it is made of I don't know what it is we'll have to look but I put the diplodinias in the baskets and so as it gets a little warmer the diplodinias get huge and they kind of fill up this area without them actually being planted in the ground the soil in here is not great I don't know if it's because of all the the rock or the brick or I don't know what it is but nothing will grow if you actually plant it in that area so the the hangers the planters hanging planters have just been the best thing oh boy okay oh Randy's here I think is dad here Pollux you see him right there is dad here Pollux he not here? What are you barking at? Oh, he is here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my gosh. My plants fell over. They laid them down? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Okay. So, this is my job tomorrow. Seven diplodinias, five bales of pine needles, three bags of potting soil, and no help. See the pine needles, they just come wrapped like, like they're a bale of hay. And you just kind of cut this string off of them and I'll show you tomorrow. And we just put them in the flower beds. What are those, buddy? Have you ever seen those before? Huh, those pretty flowers. What are those? Are you just gonna lay down? You're tired now? Okay, so here's all my plants. Here's all my flowers. So let me show you what I got. These are diplodinias. And they love the heat. They love the sun. They're very tolerant to being back here around the pool. Maxie, do you have to get in them? But they are so pretty. And y'all, these are small. So after they've been planted in their pots for about two to three weeks, they just take off. That's why I love them. And they bloom just like this always every single day until deep into the fall when we start to get a frost. So this is late April. So pretty much until Thanksgiving, late December, my flowers will be in full bloom. So let me get you up close. Here's what they look like. And here's their little bud form and you don't have to do anything to them when the flowers are done they just close up shrivel up and fall off on their own typically into the base of the plant and you don't have to pick them these are diplodinias red crimson diplodinias and this is a one gallon pot and i paid 12.95 the big ones three gallon pots I paid $29.95 for the same red crimson. But you want to make sure if you're going to put them in a pot that you get the diplodenia bush. There is a diplodenia vine. You don't want the vine. You definitely want the bush. And diplodenias come in red, pink, and white. They may be other colors, but that's all I'm able to find here. And this is so true. They do attract hummingbirds and butterflies and they love full sun, love it. So these are fantastic, beautiful flowers to put in an area of your outdoor or on your patio where you get sun and heat all day long. Okay, it's planting day. Randy's on the way home from work. He's gonna help me this afternoon. Maxi and Pollux are gonna help me. Pollux is so interested in these flowers. I don't know if he's ever seen a flower before, but he keeps smelling them. And of course, Maxie had to pee on one this morning. So that's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> We're gonna start planting flowers. So let me give you a good look around the pool before I've done anything. This is one big planter we're gonna fill. We have another one over there. The three hanging baskets are gonna be here. And then on the stairs we have two planters so that is what we're doing today these are my old planters that used to sit up on the stairs and the bottom has kind of come on pox let's show them can you move buddy 
the bottom is like rotted out and it's they're not great so and then look at all these are my day lilies they have not started blooming yet but i love them they make me so happy let's see if there's any blooms i don't think there are no not yet soon enough and this is all of our fountain grass we call it wheat and this stuff will get about seven feet tall and it is beautiful out by the pool okay so i love to pick out the red flowers because they match the red accents we have a matching umbrella over here and cushions and i just think the red color just brightens up the outside so much right buddy what are you doing picked up the wrong liners for the little hanging basket so Randy had to go to Lowe's where we got these little baskets and get the correct liners he would think we would have learned this by now happens every year I cannot get the right liners so he's go he's gonna run to Lowe's get the correct liner so that I can get these flowers planted and then all my flowers will be done for the day Next order of business while he is gone is putting down the pine needles in our flower beds. Every year, we've lived here almost 20 years, we have tried mulch, different kinds of mulch. I've just never loved anything in our flower beds until we stumbled upon pine needles. And I don't know, I just love them. I think they look classy and fresh. While he ran to Lowe's to get my correct basket liners and some more flowers because I decided to plant some diplodenias up front. Let me show you. Um, I am going to pull out just a couple of the weeds that have grown in the flower beds. Not, we don't really have too many, but I'm just gonna get the beds ready. I have all of the shrubbery trimmed. I did that about two weeks ago. And y'all, my hostess. I love my hostess. So here's the, our garage, and I decided to move those two pots I told y'all about that had kind of the bad bottoms. I'm gonna move them up here on each side of the garage and plant the diplodenias up here. And if they don't do fantastic or the pots don't make it, it's okay because I really, I really was gonna have to throw them out anyway. But, oh gosh, look at my sidewalks. Next, I gotta come up here with my power washer. That's another day. But here's our pine needles. And we bought five bales. That's really all we need. And see how they just come in a bale and they have this little string on them and you just cut the string and spread it out. So you can see my hosta are just starting to pop up right now. I have Euronymous, which are beautiful. They're green. Of course, they're green all winter, but they're, got, they're full of new buds. And then these bushes, oh my goodness, I had to trim the heck out of these. Look, they're like bald, but they had grown so much that they were covering our sidewalk. You could not walk down the sidewalk. And when we put the fence in for Pollux, I, I had to go down the sidewalk. So I, these little dudes got a severe trimming about two weeks ago and they have not bounced back yet. This one, I don't know if he's gonna bounce back or not. Look, he's not super happy. But it had to be done. Couldn't get down the sidewalk. But this is my clematis, and she is just starting to grow. 
We planted her here. The girls got her for me for Mother's Day, our very first year in this house. And so she grows and attaches onto this trellis. And in about three weeks, this trellis will be covered in beautiful purple clematis blooms. Hooey, okay. I got a lot of work ahead of me. We just had lunch, it's like one o'clock. And then I'm gonna start spreading the pine needles. This is all me. Randy has allergies. He cannot even touch the pine needles and so does Brickin. So this girl has got to spread the pine needles. And this is one of the things I love about pine needles. So easy to put down. It's not heavy. I don't need a shovel. I don't need a rake. I just take my hands, get a bunch of needles, rub my hands together, and then the needles just fall and it's perfect and they stay put. They don't blow away in the wind. They don't disintegrate. They don't roll away if there's a big rain. That's why I love the pine needles. So let's get going. So we had to regroup on the little pots. So here's my hanging basket. Randy went to Lowe's and got these inserts and they just sit in there just like that. And they're called a cocoa liner. Hmm. Yeah, just a cocoa liner. And they fit in there and I'm gonna plant and then we'll hang them from those chains. All right, Pollux. All right, look at that. Now I just have to get everything watered. That looks really good. And then here's my pots up by the door. Pollux has been out here the entire day with me, literally. This one, which is by my lounge chairs. Love the diplodinias. And then this one over here by the pool. I probably need one more pot. Like right there would be good. I might be in Randy's grilling space. Look at all these grills. But here's this one. And what I love about diplodenias, this is the end of April, and you can see how full this pot is. This was a three gallon diplodenia that I put in there. And in about two to three weeks, when this thing really, <laughs> I got dirt under my nails, when this thing really, really takes hold and gets settled in, these bushes, no joke, will be gigantic. And they are beautiful. Look at Maxie enjoying the sunshine. Isn't that so sweet? <laughs> hey! Hummingbird! That was a hummingbird. Did y'all see that? I, t I told you the diplodenias attract butterflies and hummingbirds, and that hummingbird was coming right at me. Oh my goodness. I think I scared him as much as he scared me. <laughs> These are my helpers.
My husband is obsessed with the leaf blower. He loves to get out the leaf blower and just do whatever. Y'all, I am exhausted. I'm filthy, stinky, dirty, sweaty, but happy. I absolutely love to be outside planting my flowers. It just makes me so happy. This truly is like my happy place. I, I love our backyard area. Randy and I are out here basically every single evening. And I know a lot of you all are gonna think this is so weird, but I really, really enjoy being in the yard, barefoot, dirty, stinky, muddy. Like you should see the mud underneath, or the, the potting soil underneath my fingernails. I stink, but I am a happy girl. It is, I guess, going on five o'clock right now. Starting to get cooled down just a little bit. Randy's been working in the yard, doing a couple things. We're gonna sit down, have a beer, cook dinner. Look who's coming. Hey, bollocks. Have a seat. We're just discussing it. Oh, look what happened. That's how you end a good day in the yard. Who got the dirt in the pool? No. All right, guys, gotta go. Time to cook dinner. See ya later.